happy birthday, Prasamata Yoga for um, 35 years of devotion and brilliance and kindness in our community. I honor you, I salute you, I'm grateful for your presence in all of our lives um, and just congratulate you and wish you uh, so much more wonderful, successful, thriving and um, beneficial time for all of us for, from all of the work that you do. Um, so I'm sitting here, uh, spotting here in my the little garden outside my house in Venice. Um, I'd say the two aspects of wisdom that I'd like to put into this beautiful pot that everyone's uh, sharing into. Uh, one of them is to squat all you can, live closer to the earth, plant a garden, and if you can't plant a garden, gather food or work in someone else's garden. Just have have your hands and your heart closer to the earth. I think um, that will both nourish each of our souls and it will also be um, what the planet needs right now is for us all to be closer to our earth pulse. Um, the other thing I was thinking of when I was kind of contemplating this message is we live in a society that urges us to be consumers um, and I think the revolutionary act of yogins and yoginis is to do much less of that. So use less, um, recycle more, repurpose more. And as a person walking through the world, wherever you encounter people, whether it's you know in line at the bank or at the supermarket or wherever you happen to go, make a soul connection with that human being. If they have a name tag on, call them by their name. It's like I think in our culture we can tend to see each other as functions and that we need to connect back with human beings. So make human connections every day as much as possible. That's my um, mission as a, a yogini at this point in my life and I offer it to our community along with all the other beautiful things that everyone has said as guideposts and um, inspirations. So thank you, Larry. God bless, love you, and uh, happy birthday to Samata, and uh, keep on keeping on. <laughs>